Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I just wanted to do a quick video um, talking about Hastings. And uh, you may not know who Hastings is. Hastings is a company in like the Midwest, I believe, uh, Oklahoma, uh, who sell physical media and books and CDs and DVDs and all types of stuff like that, action figures. Think of like an FYE if you're up uh, in the Northeast area. I don't know if FYE is everywhere else. So um, I use Slick Deals a lot to pick up movies and games and things that I find on the internet interesting, you know. And a while back, I think it was years ago now, it's got to be a good five years ago, I found out about GoHastings.com, not realizing it was a physical store as well and then eventually coming to terms. Um, they always had deals online. It was always, you know, 30% off of used items, 40% off, buy one, get one free. Sometimes they would jack the prices up a bit, so you'd go to get something really popular. Like, I was never one for, like, say, Star Wars. I don't like Star Wars, but Star Wars would be $50 on Blu-ray. I'm just saying used. They would jack it up to 60 because they knew you would use a coupon to get it. Stuff like that. But for the most part, I would always find good deals on GoHastings.com. So recently, I think it's about two weeks ago, three weeks ago now, they announced that all the Go Hastings, uh, or excuse me, all the Hastings stores are closing, and uh, they filed for bankruptcy. And I think now it's up to 40% off in store, and the website is completely taken offline. It's just an ad that says, you know, 40% uh, off in store, everything must go, yada yada, um, in store only, online, no online purchases. A couple weeks back, they had stopped doing refunds and stopped doing returns and things. And that was another thing about GoHastings.com. The deals were usually very good. But also, if you ever had a problem, um, you know, if the, if the item was, was pricey, they'd make you send it back, which I never had. I never had bought anything really expensive. But if it was something like $5 and under, they'd say, ah, just keep it. It's not really worth the return postage, and here's a refund. And then I'd say, yeah, but I, I want to rebuy it because it didn't work or it was scratched. Um, you know, I used a coupon and they'd say, okay, well, here's another coupon. Or something. You know, they'd always try to work with you or they'd refund you the money or the difference. So, um, like recently, the, the most recent one for me was I had picked up Hobo with a shotgun on Blu ray for like $3 and change shipped. So think about that a Blu ray, $3 and change shipped. That's a pretty good price. Um, and it was used, and it came in at a tiny, tiny scratch, but for some reason it would skip during one scene. And I tried different Blu-ray players, tried just kind of wiping the mark off, it still, it still was there, and it would skip. They said to me, just keep it, here's a refund for the 350 or whatever it was. I said, okay, but I paid 350 for it, now it's up to $5 again. They said, okay, well, place the order again, and we'll refund you the $1.50, and they did. And they were always good with that. Their customer service was always excellent. Um, the people were always pleasant and just easy to work with. It wasn't like they were fighting with you on a dollar or two. Um, over the years, I had purchased lots of my PSP games. When I had a PSP, I no longer do. I sold my collection off. Probably lost money on it, but I just needed to make room at that point. Um, you know, Vita games when I had my Vita. Uh, 360 games. I don't know if I've ever bought any Xbox One games. Right? Oh, actually I did. I bought like Killer Instinct from them for like 8 or $9 at one point. And then it eventually went free on games with gold, so I I traded it in. But, um, you know, they always had good deals. They were always really good to work with. And honestly, I'm going to miss them. The other, the other day I was looking for uh, the VHS movies on Blu-ray. It's like a horror anthology where they have like clips. And like uh, each of the clips kind of tie into a bigger picture, so to speak. Sort of. Hard to explain, but it's a, it's a great, it's a, I don't know about great, it's a, it's a good series, and I thought it was really fun horror movies, you know, really interesting and unique. So anyway, um, I was looking for those, I ended up buying them on eBay and Amazon because Go Hastings isn't up anymore. Um, so this is kind of a little rest in peace uh, nod to Hastings. I really liked the company, I thought it was really cool. I know my buddy Keithy Huntington over in Oklahoma uh, had a Hastings near him, or does have one near him still, and he would go in there and pick up records and old games and stuff, so um, I'm going to miss them. I thought it was really a cool company, you know, going into a digital era is really making everything die off. It's, um, 
you know, I think FYE is probably not far behind them. I know people have mentioned Kmart has had issues over the years, and Toys R Us has had issues. With things like Amazon.com and, you know, other stores, it just seems like these these kind of media, physical media stores are just kind of going under. Um, I know GameStop has actually had a better year this year. Um, I, I had watched a buddy's video, uh, Retro Gaming 285, Sean Long. Excuse me if I said his YouTube channel incorrectly. But um, he had said that games have had a better year this year, and he thinks it's because you know they're going into phones, they're going into to um, now they're producing their own games with uh, Song of the Deep. You know they're selling T-shirts and action figures and Funko Pops, so they're kind of like bran branching out and not just sticking to physical game media. They're also doing downloads on their website of um, you know games. So um, it just sucks. I mean we have one Fye near us, and it's about. 45 minutes away and I've traded stuff in and gotten some money and picked up some movies and you're at that point where you're like well am I going to go there with a few movies or even I had a bunch of DVDs they may give you a dollar for them you know or they may not even take them it's like am I going to go all the way there to trade this stuff in and maybe make like maybe 20 bucks probably more like 10 or 15 and then turn around and use it in the store and buy something I really don't need so I enjoy those stores and it, it's just like rental stores, you know, when you had, well, Hastings was a big rental chain as well. I forgot about that. Um, in the Midwest, they still rented stuff, but they only sold stuff online, obviously. But, um, you know, Blockbuster and Hollywood Video, I miss going to stores like that. I miss a Friday night heading over there with my parents, or now it would obviously be my girlfriend and not my parents, and picking out a movie. And you just lack something when you, you know, flick through Netflix, or in my case, Amazon Prime, and go, oh, this looks interesting, and you, you know, I mean, it's cool to get, you know, have all this stuff, like, it's kind of a, a double-edged sword, it's cool to have all this stuff in your hand, you know, like at arm's length, you just click what you want, if you don't like it, you shut it off and pick something else, it doesn't cost you anything except the yearly subscription, but, you know, there was something interesting about the smell of the store, checking out the back of the boxes, finding shit you'd never find, you know, someone stopping you and going, oh, I saw that movie, it was really good, or did you hear such and such came out this week? There's something about that that is just lacking from nowadays life, you know, and especially with kids nowadays, you know, they, they got it way too fucking easy with, you know, digital games and digital media and everything. It's just, like, everything's just right there. They're always, like, torrenting shit, and it just, I don't know, things are just too easy and too, I know I sound old, and I'm only 32, but... Things are just too easy and too, uh, at arm's length. Sometimes it's nice, sometimes it's kind of like, I just really miss it. So, hats off to Hastings. Uh, hopefully the employees find a job. You know, I don't ever like to see companies, especially American companies, go out of business. Um, in a staple of these, like, small towns that had Hastings as rental stores that are no longer going to be renting or selling. So that kind of sucks. But, uh, best of luck to all the Hastings employees and whoever else there, CEOs and whoever has to find jobs. Now, even though I think they'd probably be a little better off than the uh, low-level, you know, employees and management. So, um, that's really it. Just, uh, oh, that was it. I want to end this with the last thing I bought from Hastings. I was going to show it, but obviously I'm in my car, so that's a, you know, that's not going to happen. <clears throat> I should have ended off on Hobo with a Shotgun, because that's an interesting movie, and it's like kind of a grindhouse action gore flick with Rutger Hauer, who I really like, but the last thing I bought from them, right before they closed, was Full Moon Entertainment does a lot of cheesy films, uh, horror movies, um, Puppet Master, stuff like that, they also did one of my favorite, like, sci-fi films, Trancers, there's like five of them, I think, I think there was five Trancers, and then like a reboot with, with a, a girl, and that one wasn't really good, but, um, very schlocky, cheesy, goofy B-movies, and, um, I really enjoy those, so, the last movie I bought was Doll Man, and Doll Man stars Tim Thomerson, who was in Xena, and also, more importantly, in Trancers, he was the main guy, uh, Jack Death, and, uh, check out those movies, by the way, and, to me, Doll Man's not so great, uh, I gave it another chance and picked it up from Hastings for, I think, two dollars and, like, ninety cents shipped, it was Doll Man, Dollman vs. Demonic Toys, and then the Demonic Toys first movie. 
which is kind of like a Puppet Master-esque movie. So for $2.90, you get a DVD with three movies, shipped, great deal. Again, I didn't really love the movies. I guess you have to kind of be in that cheesy right mindset. Sometimes they go a little too cheesy and a little too out there for me, which is what this was in. Um, and then the, the Doll Man vs. Demonic Toys film was a lot of old footage, which is a little bit of new footage, so I felt like it was kind of chintzy. But, um, oh, they also did Subspecies. Subspecies is a pretty cool vampire series that Full Moon did. So um, that was the last thing I bought from Hastings. And um, I was kind of hoping it was something a little grander, but I guess what can you do? So uh, thanks, Hastings. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's uh, Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Chime in in the comments. Tell me about some of your favorite old memories of rental stores and places that maybe went out of business that you enjoyed, mom-and-pop type shops or video game stores. Be good.